So we need to find some way of getting fuel to this. Since we're going to expend it anyway, well, why don't we just put boosters on? We should put SLS boosters just on principle. I guess so, yeah, why not? Appropriate dramatic music for this situation of ours. Okay, does that help anything? <laughs> well, now it's saying it 8,929, which is less than it had before I put the SRBs on. So that's not good either. Let's make this smaller so it can actually get out of the bay in some sort of legitimate fashion. Oh, and this will need power now. We'll just open the bay and stick that out to power Starship as well. I don't think we're gonna have enough to get to the moon with that load though. But let's see how far off we are. Okay. SAS on, throttle is up. Water daily use thingy. And go. And go. We can throttle down. That we can do. Uh oh! Something exploded. Uh, it took out an engine. I guess we'll try doing the hot staging thing again. Okay. So anyway, we're 1,000 short as far as this thing's transfer is concerned. I still want to slap on some Hydrolox thingy with this, but the problem is the bay. The bay isn't really well suited for it. And the second is Starship itself isn't really suited for it. But the dry mass of Starship is sort of nice, <laughs> right? Um, what is the dry mass of the S2 stage anyway? The Starship, of course, has much more volume. Is it really just 27 tons? Okay. But then we have a problem. This is not going to be as heavy as the Starship is. And we want more. So we, we're going to need some extra tankage. Do we have the engine, though? We should check that first. I don't think they... The, the, I think I have to get that... Yeah... I have to get the real engines or whatever. RO engines. RO engines. We need RO engines. I hate that. I want my airlit SSMEs with their big nozzles and three ignitions. Uh-oh. Oh no, we can't load it. Gosh darn it. Uh... We can't load the International Space Station because the International Space Station has the S2 stage on it and the S2 stage has a J2 and RO engines is trying to wipe out the J2. RO engines decided to try to kill the International Space Station so I had to destroy most of RO engines in order to save the International Space Station. Yes. So, um, uh, I think we call it desperation here. See, it's hashtag ROSSME title now. That's how badly I turned RO engines into mincemeat. I don't know if the engines will work, but they have the right stats, so. So obviously we don't just have the S2 stage. We have a whole expansion tank because we're using uh, RS-25s. 
So if we're using RS-25s, we need more fuel. So for the payload, we would like to have little engines, which we didn't have before. So right now, this is 115 tons that we're trying to send to the moon. But it'll have to do the capture. All right, here we go. SAS on, throttle up. Uh, well, deluge. Okay, booster set. Oh, I didn't want those fairings. It's okay. <laughs> As long as that decoupler didn't go. So quiet. Well, I think we're gonna be alright here. Yeah, we have enough to transfer and maybe five to six hundred for capture. You know what, to save ignitions... Well, we'll use all, all four for- well, no, um... I'm gonna use two for here. But we're a little late. Let's just go. Anyway, having only two engines on makes this burn more precise, too. Close enough. We'll just bundle that in so to make course correction. It's awkward, though. Okay, so it's just 24.6 meters per second. It's gotta be awful fast. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's go over there. We might as well do use the 536 here. Well, maybe we use some of it for the eventual inclination correction though. How much will the inclination correction cost? Four twenty-seven. So all right. In that case, That stage is on a crash course with the moon, so it will be disposed of. And may produce science, who knows. This needs to stop being on a crash course, though. So 120 tons in lunar orbit. I mean, a loose lunar orbit, though. Don't get confused by the pole. Ah, there it is. We'll get this off of the station. Has a tiny bit of propellant left for just maintaining orientation. Good timing for the music. 
makes me happy. Okay, well, we got to deorbit this tank. Okay, so it says we have 3,700, which is pretty close to what we need to get back directly into a low Earth orbit, but not quite. So some air braking may be necessary. So it's got to cost a little bit extra to get back. Anyway, I'll look at it. You apparently come back to the moon like this. Let's try and lightly go into the atmosphere. The peculiarities of coming back from higher orbit. I mean, uh, inclined orbit. Oh, speaking of inclination, we need to make sure that we have enough. We only have 9.3, that's not good enough. Okay. We need more inclination. I mean, what would be a good periapsis here? That's the question for us. Can't burn up getting into 100 kilometers, right? Right? Taking a look at the pitch. It, prob it probably won't bring us down too much. Oh, it looks pretty balanced in this part. I should have brought it down a little bit further. We can't leave it in such a high orbit when they have limited supplies, so we have to do some burn. Well, we should have gone lower than that too. They're getting very irradiated at this point. We've still got like 2,000 meters per second to burn off. Well, I'll try 80. Seems risky though. Okay, going up again. Well, it seems okay so far. 75 or 70? Hmm. No, let's try 70. No, oh, now uh, it's overheating now. Uh oh, we're going all the way to 70 kilometers. Hopefully, it's going to be okay. Well, actually, it's gotten some lift, so we're not going that low anymore. Hmm. I think we should just use our. Delta V to get into orbit now. To get into the low orbit. Or maybe we should do one more light pass. Save ourselves a bit. I didn't want to use an ignition on this part. Okay, close enough. Now we have to line up with Cape Canaveral. Maybe we can just deorbit this time. Well, it's taking too long to turn retrograde, so that's gonna be a problem. What is with this thing? Its RCS is like so limited. Well, see, now we've got a problem. Uh, now, well, now we've got a really lopsided orbit that's not how it's supposed to be. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, uh, no, 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 no. That's not good. 
I, I guess it might work out, but... Well, we're a little bit too far gone here. It's nowhere near prograde. Hurry up. Well, let's just fizz warp. It's where it needs to be right now, anyway. We're approaching Texas. We're way far south now. <laughs> uh, we might make the Bahama runway, though. Boy. It's trying to lean towards the KSC. It's trying to turn north. It's getting very wiggly. We might overshoot the Bahamas as well. Well, there are other islands over here. Somewhere. They just don't have very good runways. I don't know if those are just smudges on the map or whether they're actual landable islands though. That one over there looks nice. That's Cuba. The Caribbean is nice. There's so many little islands. I should visit it more often in Flight Sim. It's like all these landing spots just waiting for you. This plane is so good though. It hasn't been, it's been very nice and balanced in pitch, hasn't it? Okay, let's try and take control here. Um, oh. Oh, there we go. I don't even know what island this is. But even descending at this angle, we're slowing down, so... We do have these intakes open. Now they're closed. Ah, okay, even the small intakes were causing a lot of drag. Hmm. Okay, opening the air intakes. Closing the air intakes. And you've got air intakes, you don't need air brakes. I really don't like the yaw jitter though. Oh no, there's a bomb! No, no, ah! <laughs> They all died. Gosh darn it, game. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Why does it always have to be this way? And what the heck is moving at 19.3 meters per second right now? 